So we all have dreams and we're trying to figure out how to chase them. You know, the one of the first few successful things or steps to being successful that I heard about and learned is that you should take advice and listen to people who have been there. You know, so uh, if you want to make it to the NBA, take advice from NBA players, and NBA coaches. If you want to make it to, um, you know, if you're in class, you want to figure out how to get grades. You need to listen to the people who have all A's, you know, the teachers and, and all that stuff, man. Um, I can't think of another example, but you know, if you want to be successful, follow the footsteps of successful people. If you want to be a millionaire, hang around millionaires, take advice from them. If you want to be a billionaire, hang around billionaires, take advice from them. I disagree. Um, well, I don't fully disagree. I partially disagree. I think I don't think that's the full truth. That's that's half of the picture that you should take advice from and t- listen to, and, and you know, whatever. That's, that's that's true, but it's half the truth. I believe you should listen to the losers. I hate to call them losers, but the losers too, because they tell you the other half of the picture. You feel me? There's, there's now you get the full landscape of what it takes and doesn't take to make it to wherever. So you shouldn't just listen to uh, a LeBron James on how to get to the NBA. You should also listen to the guy who played in high school with LeBron. You should also listen to the guy who played in middle school with LeBron from LeBron's neighborhood. Because they have a perspective and view about LeBron that LeBron doesn't sit fully see and know. They also have a perspective on them and their life to tell you on things to not do. Man, I was, instead of going out and partying, I should have been in the gym with LeBron. You know, I messed up, you know, by, you know, not knowing my limits of certain stuff, not learning my priorities and balancing life and stuff. Because LeBron tells you what he did right. And I'm pretty sure he'll be transparent to you what he did wrong, but you get another perspective and a deeper meaning with the failures. Hey, call them failures, but that's the best word to use to describe them for this moment. So you get the full landscape of things too. If you, you know, if people want all some marriage advice from people who've been in a relationship, but I feel like you should all take advice from people who's been divorced because there are certain signs and certain things that they catch or they didn't catch, but they call afterwards that they can give you now. You know what I mean? So you can't take advice only from the winners because sometimes there's a little luck thrown in there or something that, you know, God gave and that they can't fully explain or can't fully, you know, give you the details about. But that's the key that you're missing. But the failure can give you that advice because they know, man, if I would have just stayed more focused in doing this instead of doing that, I could have got there. So take advice from the losers too. But don't, I think the real key is not to be constantly in that environment of those losers so to speak i hate calling them losers but that's the the term to use right now because it just makes sense but anyway um also there's another thing that goes around of like uh certain people i like i like when i was growing up you don't want to have a trainer or a coach who didn't be at that level like you don't want a trainer or a coach who didn't play at a certain level but if you look at guys in the nba not every successful coach was the best player and yeah they played in the nba but they weren't the best player and there are certain coaches who didn't play in the nba at all you know they might have played college ball like coach k played college ball he didn't play pro ball but lebron uh kd d way j kid they love him you know they kobe they love coach k you know greg popovich is one of the best coaches of all time across all sports where's where's his pro team where, where did he play pro ball exposure you know what i mean like every coach has been at that level so we had to take advice from guys who weren't the superstar guys to teach you how to be superstar guys you know so sometimes there's a, there's a certain craft in in studying the game too that plays a long way so for me i'm not saying it's just toot my own harm and, and boost myself i'm saying this for the other trainers and other coaches and other people who weren't at that level or at successful yet but i can still give you a game of how to get there because i can tell you what not to do as well as tell you what to do and what I've studied and seen around from the greats. I studied the greats, just tell you how to do what to do for you to become great. So not taking advice only from successful from only from successful people will get you there, but also from the failures and people who didn't reach the same pinnacle that you plan to reach too. So get the full landscape and the full picture of success by seeing the good and the bad, the good and the evil, the wins and the losses. So get the full picture of where you want to get to from people who made it and people who didn't make it or failed to. So that's it. Have a good